Well, first of all, I would like to welcome Ahmed Mohamed Al Khan, who is the head of investment banking of GB Corporation. Um, well, Mr. Ahmed, according to Saudi Arabia Central Bank Governor Mohamed Al Yasser, the Islamic finance industry will have a year of slower growth in 2009 mm -hmm. after expanding assets by 28% globally last year. Mm -hmm. What is your assessment of the Islamic finance and how hard has it been affected by the global economic downturn? Every industry has been affected by the economic downturn. Uh, may it be conventional banking or Islamic banking. Islamic banking has been affected to a, a lower extent, the reason being by its sheer nature of operation. Uh, we are an asset-backed operation, profit-sharing based operation, where there is tangibility behind every investment they do. And that basically minimized the magnification of the problems as for what happened in the West because it was derivative option and financial instrument traded instrument which magnified the multitude of what had happened. So a simple subprime went into CDOs and CLOs and, and then started transcending into investment banking, into different sectors. Islamic banking doesn't do that because that's not within its core, uh, within its core function. Its core function is to invest into economic accelerator projects, into, tr into accelerating employment, into creating industries. So every single transaction is asset-backed. And when one thing is asset-backed and not paper trail-backed, you kind of suppress it towards just that reduction within the valuation of that specific asset. So that's why it has been somewhat shielded, because it's just pure nature of its tangibility. But again, it has been impacted. Just like any other se sector, uh, and the central bank has done a very good job of that, is it tried to shield and prevent the herding mentality, which within Islamic banking did create some kind of a, a inf inflation within specific sectors. Like I was uh, explaining, uh, real estate has been, and real estate infrastructure and development has been, an, has been a sector of interest, and a very profitable sector over the economic boom era. Uh, you know, for six years, and uh, and a lot of banks, just like you know, through their capitalistic nature, they they rode the wave of that real estate boom. You know, the returns were lucrative, the investment was low risk, and but it created what what I call herding, which was like herd mentality that everybody thought it was profitable. Let's all go there. When you have herding, you create inflation within that sector, and you hyperinflate it. And that was the only problem that was created, uh, which, which Islamic banking faced, because now the sectors that invested in ha ha got devalued and shrunk a little bit. So that was, that was the extent of the hit they have taken. But uh, in general, the integrity of the Islamic banking structure is still sound, it's still strong, it's still growing. Now the economic downturn has taught them how to diversify, to go into different sectors, to start capitalizing on opportunities which at one point they could not capitalize on. Buy out of companies in the West, where at one point we're going for very high multiples of EBITDA, which today is more affordable, plus because EBITDA shrunk. So now they're seeking those opportunities, dividend yielding, uh, annuity-based businesses, and now they're expanding. They're going westwards and they're going eastwards and because the liquidity is still there. Can you describe the key challenges and opportunities associated with investing during the global economic downturn? The key challenges today, I would say, and this is, I think, a challenge faced by everybody, is not deals, is not opportunities, because today we definitely have more opportunities than we ever had. The key challenges is funding. Uh, funding, debt, leveraging is a problem for any banking sector, especially for an investment bank, which a majority of the deals is done off balance sheet which we depend on third-party uh, third funds to come in and pool the, invest uh, to pool the money to syndicate it so we can do an acquisition. Today, people, because of the uh, shrinkage in their disposable incomes and their surplus income, makes it harder for us to go raise money. Even from institutions who have taken a hit on their balance sheet, who have taken a hit in their income and their P&L, they have less disposable income to reinvest in the different sectors. And I think what the economic uh, crisis has done, it has put companies into, into a balance sheet management mode versus a growth mode. 
Um, and that's what basically is rippling across all the other uh, institutions which, which are linked. So that is, that is a, I think that's the main challenge, funding. Mm -hmm. Both off balance sheet, on balance sheet, and debt. Mm 